the hydraulic ram pump, a concrete water pump that uses the energy of flowing water to beat the water upwards. At the Demotech workshop in Maastricht, the Netherlands, we built this test setup to see and further investigate the working of this hydraulic ramp pump. With some smart valves, the ramp pump produces pressure by using the energy of flowing water from a small and fast flowing river. Because in Holland there are very few of these small and fast flowing rivers, we had to build a mime river. The water from the river flows through the concrete pipe down below, where the water obtains its pressure and is being pushed into the hose. This hose leads upwards to the roof, which is 10 meters higher. Although the water delivery appears to be quite low, it's an ongoing delivery that requires no extra energy. It takes about 7 minutes to fill a bucket of 12 liters. This means almost 2 liters every minute and almost 2500 liters every 24 hours. The hydraulic ramp pump can be built easily in a week's time by using only simple tools and has an estimated cost of only 20 euros. The performance of the hydraulic ramp pump finds its purpose in the situation where a farmer's field is situated above the level of a nearby mountain creek. The ramp pump can be built into or next to the mountain creek and will lift a small amount of the river's water to the farmer's field, leaving still enough water for the farmers below. Let's now take a closer look at the hydraulic ramp pump to see how it works. The hydraulic ramp pump functions by means of two simple valves made of old car tires and a locked in air bubble in the upward pointing pipe. Let's first take a look at the pump cycle and I will explain the steps afterwards. In the first step, the impulse valve is opened, making the water flow out very quickly. Due to this necessary leak, the downflowing water builds up speed. But the impulse valve has resistance in the water and is being taken upwards and suddenly closes. This transfers the kinetic energy of the water into a pressure peak. Due to this sudden pressure peak, the water is being pushed into the upward pointing bottle through a single direction valve. The pressure peak, however, quickly drops. This makes the impulse valve open again and closes the single direction valve. Because the bottle is pointing upwards, an air bubble is enclosed into it. This cushions the pressure peak and pushes the water into the hose afterwards. This is the end of the cycle and the cycle starts anew. Let's walk through it once again. The impulse valve is open so the downflowing water flows out very quickly. The impulse valve however closes suddenly creating a pressure peak. This pressure peak causes the water being pushed into the bottle through a single direction valve. Because the bottle is pointing upwards, an air bubble is enclosed, 
which cushions the pressure peak and pushes the water into the hose afterwards. Although the hydraulic ram pump in its current state functions very well, Demotech has learned from this experiment and from experience from the past. Demotech decided to alter the design to make it a more reliable ram pump. We will make this design of the hydraulic ram pump together with a group of farmers in Guatemala very soon.